usually but these are the items I usually get every year because they're like basics and you gotta have them and I like kind of was thinking of doing a DIY like I have it edited and everything but it literally is just like one thing so I was like okay it's not like a super great DIY so I shouldn't put that in the video but if you guys want to see it give it a thumbs up and you'll get a sneak peek of what that is later in this video so I'm gonna talk stop Top, stop talking. I'm just gonna get into the video. So first I have this pocket file folder and I had one of these. Um, this is the same one that I got last year but I just reused it because I don't see the purpose of buying a new one. When really you could just clear out all the work that you had in here and just put in your new work. Um, and these really come in handy for the classes that you have a lot of work passed back to you and you don't want to hold it so what I do is I just put all my classes in order and I put all my old work in here so whenever I need it I can easily look back at it and I kind of know where exactly where it is so this is always really handy and they're only like a couple dollars so they're like really really affordable and I got this from Target but they probably have some different designs so yeah so I got two one inch binders and the labels that I made are these and um, if you want to see how I made them, comment down below, give this video a thumbs up. But really I just got two one inch binders because I think I just found out that my A push class is using binders and not five subject notebooks like my AP Euro class did. So one inch binders are what we're going to do. Next I have three folders. I originally got two, but this is one of my old folders. Again, I reuse my old stuff. I really don't care. I don't see the purpose of buying new things when you have old stuff to, that can still be used. So I just have like this regular like file pocketing folder and it's kind of like flimsy, like fan, except it's not hot. That's why I'm wearing a sweater and it's summer so it doesn't make any sense. California. And I also got two of these five star folders and these are actually like the really good quality ones. They're like a dollar or two I think. And what I really like about these is that um, it's so much easier to keep your work in place. Like over, like usually I'll keep my homework in on one side and then over on this side I'll keep like any like newsletters or like any loose paper in there. And you also have like this little area where you can put like little like cards or whatever so these are really handy and I also got it in this magenta type color so just in case that one breaks I have this one ready to go for second semester but these are a lot more durable than a freaking paper folder that rips like every two days which happened to me when it like literally like almost ripped in half and it was just not good nope two 70 page notebooks because these just always come in handy and they're like a dollar or like 70 cents they can be no more than a dollar honestly and I can't believe they want hashtag notebook this time a little bit too much but I also put another one of my labels that I made onto here for physiology so if you want to find out how to make those remember to comment down below and you know and I also got these really nice um, one subject notebooks and I got it in purple and blue and they all have like these really cool like detailing on it and it's like really faint but you can see it and it's really cute so I just kind of decorate it with another some of my labels and some stickers that I got from pink and yeah they're like 
my favorite one subject notebooks just kidding no they aren't but like they're really nice quality and I like the print on them so they're not just some boring colors because boring colors don't get you motivated for school maybe that's just me I don't know and also I got two five star notebooks or five star five subject notebooks and I keep it college wool 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 rolled a push so probably gonna either keep one I'm probably just gonna keep this that way I don't have to buy it next year see keep keep good track of your uh, school supplies cuz I bought the giant pack of big pencils of like 30 from last year and I put it somewhere and now I don't know where they are so now I only have like a couple of them just like sitting around my desk so yeah but I didn't really buy any new pencils because I didn't use pen most of the time and either way I'm pretty good with like not sharing pencils I don't like sharing pencils because I know people never give me back my pencils and I always have like really nice pencils so I'm like no get your own pencil or I'm like eh, don't have one the thing that's gonna come in handy is index cards because these babies are gonna be your life and they're like super cheap next I got some lead and it came with like a free like red lead too and these are just 0.5 nothing interesting I also got a calculator a scientific calculator because these are only nine dollars so they were really really affordable and so I got this um I also have a graphing calculator but most teachers like some of my teachers like my chem, bleh, my chem teacher, she was like from last year. She was like, "Oh, you can't use your graphing calculator because you can probably save stuff on that calculator." And I was like, "I don't even know how to do that. I didn't even know you couldn't do that until you just told me." And she's like, "No, you have to use a scientific calculator." And I don't like borrowing calculators, so I got my own calculator. Last year was completely crazy, especially towards like the middle end of the year. I did not have a planner, or I did have a planner, but I didn't really start using it towards until I realized that I really needed to start using my phone and start using my planner because this is what's going to keep you organized. So this is like $8 at Target and it's just this really pretty like floral print thingy and it has like this plastic over the front so it won't like rip and it comes with like all the like the little different like flower and then it comes with like a calendar after like some like advertisement like monthly calendar that goes until 2017 what and and it has like all these like different months right here and it's just like any other planner that you would have like whoopsies like the monthly plan and then you know you'll have like the daily plans right here so I really like this planner it's really pretty and I definitely am gonna put this to use this year because I know junior year is about to be one of the craziest years yet and I need to stay on top of myself. Unlike last year where stuff was just left and right and up and down and it was just like never eat soggy waffles with knives like just pointing at me and like shooting me like all at one time at that point in the year and it was horrible. Never again. Finally I got <laughs> one of the most <laughs> one, of the, one of the most necessary things ever and that is tissues and I only got one I don't know why but these are definitely necessary because I don't like going up into the middle like going up to the other side of the room in the middle of class to get a tissue when I'm like sniffling I enjoyed this video and give it a thumbs up and comment down below if you really want to see that DIY for all the tags I made or like the little detail thingies and I actually got some washi tape so I am definitely going to decorate these things so I'll probably add that into the DIY video if you guys want to see it so make sure to comment down below if you want to see that and that will probably be either my next video or that will be the video after my back to school clothing haul we don't know yet I really hope all of these tips helped you um, from personal experience I feel so I hope you guys have a great school year and thank you so much for 500 subscribers I hope to see you soon and peace out